What's going on, Captain Robert and crew here for Baldur's Gate After Show, episode 65. We have seen it all in the stars once before. This is a goddamn fun episode. I'm gonna say that right now. Out of the beginning, it's it was so cool to grab a piece of Jen slash Hiram's lore and and get the pieces that we I mean, we got some of it when Jen told the story, but we didn't get the whole story until now. Yeah, he was so, dead, but now he's not dead. Somehow cosmic re replaced. And having the tools, hey, what the perfect person to have in Marcel to be like, oh, we're just going to watch this show through fire. Have a little ceremony after you've cut through the fat. Finding a Hiram, very much like the Hiram that you met in Jin early on, trying to take your things, successfully selling a crowd, a showman that had overtaken Aloon Rook's house. Yeah, that's... Rook wasn't having any part of that, considering he was only missing, or was missing a leg. <laughs> he pissed too as a land baron that he's become in his new interest in real estate to find a squatter in his shack inside the sow's foot. Freeloading, not paying any he's, rent. Well, he didn't fuck with his shit. No, he's the. Uh, and we did find out the lore when it told the story of Hiram dragging himself. He did drag himself through the gutter. And send himself yep. out. <laughs> Literally shipped himself through your shits loose. <laughs> we got all sorts of pieces. We got your Everything new leg. That passes through the city goes through my house. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's becoming that way. I uh, I knew one thing when we were gonna get you a temporary leg that I wanted to make it a conflict of natural druidic magic and giving you this wooden leg and the conflict that it might have with metal all so I could incorporate that poop knife into your own leg <laughs> genius like way of the... weaving it in <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he eventually saws off his own leg to get a new metal one I think you have the joint there now. You got the joint, man. Hey, they that's have true, they have a place true. to attach. That's that's all I wanted for whatever RP that you wanted to do. You can go get yourself a new leg later on, and uh, you know, hopefully we have a. God, I can't wait to have Gitsy's comment on the fact that you have a wooden leg with a poop knife and everything. There's so much I want to hear from Gitsy's voice at some point in time on everything. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you've turned your poop knife into a leg? <laughs> Hey, Loon, I've told you how many times you need to sanitize these things. And if you expect me to clean up your mess, then I expect fruit. I think you should have to get over the fact that Aloon's dead first. True. <laughs> Doc, a little bit of a grief dump at first. <laughs> hey, Aloon's dead. Um, I, I got a wooden leg. But out of that ceremony watching and seeing Hiram kill in front of a crowd and it grow from Jin's actual jealousy of having to perform after Hiram, understanding where he came from and then obviously not getting the conversation or the whole conversation, but you can see Hiram's state and where he's at, not even knowing that he's been killed. Being harassed by someone that not only is succeeding, but is haphazardly doing it getting shot at having his own ukulele broken back in the alley that last step before Jin lost it and killed this guy which even worse Jin said that you know he disposed of the body you find out he, Jin just let him fall over and ran it was Hiram's own pulling himself through the sow's foot not on Munch like he travels sometimes while he's drunk. And sending him out to the cattails. But you got all the details to find that for some reason, the stars want a presence on this plane. Whether it's Jin or whether it's Hiram, those two are bound. And it'll be very interesting to see what happens when Jin returns. It's probably going to kill my best tenant. 
Who knows? You may you may you may acquire more between now and then. Yeah, yeah. You may have somebody to replace him when he <laughs> not a star <laughs> puppet anymore. I gotta I gotta build that hotel. <laughs> Got a lot of dirt. Got a lot of new dirt to do it. Sure, the foundation. <laughs> I enjoyed you thoroughly barking at the dirt hobo. <laughs> We even say it's a it's a competitive market. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is my debt. <laughs> even found a way to work Leatherman into the episode. I mean, after all the setup and the talk about beforehand, well, how how could you have not? He needs a boot so he doesn't sprout. Oh, there's yep. the man with the boot. If there's a man that's selling boots in South's foot, it's the fucking Leatherman. Hundred and ten percent. Uh, we need a, a a nice little goofy episode. I blinked. I looked down. I was like, "How's it been three hours with these fucking jokes?" I uh, I don't even know. I don't even know how they move so fucking quick. Combat feels like it's eight days, and you make a bunch of stupid jokes. You look down, and it's four hours fucking later, and you're like, "Oh shit!" That happens. You have fun with your friends. Time just goes. Good laugh. I enjoyed your pineapple pork belly. Oh, so good. That was a tribute to Big Nate Sirocco, who we lost last year. Love you, Nate. Pork belly. Mm. Only people in San Diego will get that, but it's all right. Hey, you don't have to be in San Diego to realize that pineapple glazed pork belly is a fucking great decision. <laughs> well, he, he, he was a big Pacific Islander, and uh, that, was, that, was, that was how he said, I love you, as pork belly. I love that. <laughs> I'm glad you could honor him. It's very yes, cool. Yes, yes. Pork belly. Well, we got the wagon circled. We're headed in the right direction. We're headed to the Grateful Bread, where we can try and meet up and get our party back partially. I don't think any part of us wants to fucking see what beast number two is gonna be. Not right now, at least. <laughs> No, I think we need a little more firepower. Shit got a little close. I can't wait till we get in there and, and then Asher just dimension doors his way out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore, guys. We just waited for you. Wait, I, don't, we, I hate it here. I hate it here. I don't like, where do you like it then? I don't like it anywhere. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in the sea. I don't want to be in the fighting pits. I don't want to be in Baldur's Gate. I hate it here. I just want to go to the library. It's the only place I feel safe. <laughs> he's That's lucky so he's lucky he doesn't have 17 kids right now and i haven't gone and messed with his relationship down with elsa i'm telling you what you're really trying me in a month a month and a week five five weeks oh man that's that's a test right there i've done Adam, more in one episode me, absence let me put this in perspective for you i went to the er with my son and fucking Rob gave me 17 children in a propensity that I hate riding horses. So yep. you've been gone for how long? Make it back here. When you put it that way, dude, you make it sound so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I loved every minute of it. But just, still. Just giving you some flavor, man. Remember, don't forget about your elephant hybrid child. It's still out there. <laughs> the lo my the my Loxodon one. child from our fucking one shot. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's got furry ears, man. No, he's yours. Or Scaly, I'm sorry. I, I started to. Mr. Faust had a child. <laughs> yeah. Mud? Mm -hmm. I might actually have to play that character in uh, what we've got coming up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Arden, man. <laughs> it's a goddamn goddamn uh avatar you can do fucking everything hell yeah well i'm excited ready to get the plot moving forward we'll we'll be back with Baldur's gate like i said on august 3rd we're gonna take a couple weeks hiatus because of my vacation and uh adam is a gonzo again next week and i'm not putting in another filler episode <laughs> we we we're gonna do spell jammer. We are gonna do spell jammer academy. So you guys get D and D next weekend. I hope you enjoy it. 
You'll find out the cast for the two nights that we do it. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm excited. I was wondering how I was going to be able to work this in. And I found a way, baby. <laughs> so enjoy that. We'll be back with this story very, very soon as we uh, use an air elemental in a uh, very exciting way inside the Grateful Bread. I'm, I'm excited to smoke this place out in one more fashion. The vortex bong is strong. <laughs> we got to find the needle, man. <laughs> Two individuals can. It's those brothers. <laughs> oh, one more side note. I loved. Only thing I wanted to do was have the other Vox Nern call you a square at some point in time. Oh, oh dude, that <laughs> fucking hurt. And I just, I just, I just shut it off. <laughs> Yeah, square, bright, okay. No, it's, bitch, it's, it's kind of look bright. like a square over here. So, hey, little slice of home. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say our <laughs> prayers to Jesus, Lathander Christ. <laughs> I, I hate myself right now. <laughs> I <fucking> hate it. <laughs> That's going to be it for this week. Thanks for joining us, y'all. We'll see you guys later. Much love, everybody.